Hey guys, Chris and I are excited to give you a full tour of the brand new Alliance Paradigm 382RK. This is the prototype that is fresh off the line a matter of days ago. So this is one of the earliest videos you will see on this trailer. The floor plan is incredible. I cannot wait to show you. Yeah, and with prototypes, sometimes they will change and tweak things, but you're gonna get the exclusive look here. The Alliance 382RK is awesome. It's a big coach. It's a 16,800 pound gross vehicle weight rating. It's on two 7,000 pound axles and it has a 21 or 2,174 pound cargo capacity. This is definitely a trailer that you're gonna wanna tow with a one ton dually. Starting up front, this is where you would have your gin prep. Normally there'd be a generator or gin prep, but since this is a prototype, I don't see that in there. I know it's an option. They have a Kurt Rotoflex pin box coming around the side to the pass through. You've got two 30 pound propanes, one on each side. It's got a huge pass through. So just like every Alliance coach, you have access behind the water Nautilus system. Like all Alliance coaches, they use the Nautilus panel. You have two black tanks and one gray tank. And I apologize about the noise, guys. They are literally still working on this coach as we're filming. So bear with us if you hear other voices. You have full access to the back of the Nautilus panel along with a lot of your wiring. Um, as we mentioned inside, it's got a 101 inch wide body and it has an absolute massive storage. One of the unique things about the Alliance is that they do put on off switches on all of their PEX lines. They put a new graphic design on this paradigm. It has a little bit of a similar design to the older ones with a node that shows this is completely new with their graphics. Love it. It's got four slide outs, two coming out of each side. This front one here is a Schwintech. The next one, which is going to be one of your seating areas on the inside, this is a hydraulic. Alliance always upgrades their suspension, so you've got a heavy duty shackle kit, wet bolts, and a Cree 3000. Your 50 amp connections right there at the middle of the coach. The water heater is directly behind Martha's elbow. And there is your furnace. You have one of your black tank drains there. You've got the Lippert level up system. So it's a hydraulic system. On the back, you've got the second black tank drain. And they put a stinky slinky holder in there automatic. And then the blue one there is your low point drain. Yeah, don't forget about this baby right here. That's a necessity on any coach. Yeah, that is a Valterra style valve. I don't know if that's particularly the brand, but it is a wastegate valve so that it's, you don't get any surprises when you open it. Rear ladder, it's got good windows going out the back of the kitchen. You've got a trailer hitch with a 300 pound capacity and it does have a four way plug so you can actually tow with it. This is your main body slide here. This is gonna be your dining room plus another couch. Yeah, and the beautiful atrium windows, you guys. We love this about the Paradigm. Then you have another slide up in the front. That's the dresser. So it's opposing slides for the bedroom. You have the dresser that kicks out about a foot and then you have the bedside that kicks out about two foot. So just like we said, this just came straight from the factory. We have the Alliance A team here getting it all dolled up for the Alliance rally to show you guys. What she's saying is we're getting in the way and causing them grief, but they're being super polite and not calling us buttholes. Yeah, they've been amazing. They let us record and now they're getting to work. You got two massive awnings that are coming out. And this is prepped for the Solera style awning toppers. If that's something you desire, you can put that on there. Um, as we mentioned earlier, the Weingarten Air 360 is up in the front. You've got three Coleman Mach Qs. This one has a solar panel on top, so that probably runs the refrigerator since it is a Norcold 12 volt fridge. The front of this slide, which is the nose of the coach, of course, is your bathroom. Those two little windows right there are what look out over your sink. You've got speakers directly below it, so if you want to have any kind of uh, music on the outside, and as you can see, the great people at Alliance pulled out the awning and they pretty much run the full length of the coach. This thing is massive. What I love about the graphics, it sparkles. I hope that shows up on camera. It's it, shiny. It's gorgeous. I hope the sheer massiveness of this pass through shows. I swear to you, without exaggeration, I could lay in here. This thing is huge. The second 30 pound propane tank is on the off door side and then this one on the door side.
So I'm up on the roof and on the door side, you've got two slides. This back one here is gonna be where your kitchen's at. This front one is gonna be your bedroom and your bathroom. You got a skylight vent. And then on the off door side, you got a second one. That's gonna be your dining room. And this is gonna be a seating area. Looks like you got a 320 watt Renogy or Renogy solar panel. And then these are more max air vents and Coleman mock air conditioners. And this one uses the Lippard solid step, which he just demoed worked really well. <laughs> when you walk in the front door directly to your right is a normal electrical panel that Alliance uses. It's a toggle switch based system. It's super simplistic, which I love, and you know exactly what you're working on. It lines out all of your tanks, your battery, your capacities, all your on off switches, everything right here. You've got two huge cabinets Looks like one is a coat rack and the top one is uh, Martha's clutter catcher. In the entryway, you have two thermostats. You have the lights to the living room with the dimmer. This door right here is a little different. There's a half bath in here, you guys. The half bath has a good use of space. You have a medicine cabinet with two shelves. You've got an epoxy poured countertop with a stainless steel bowl. You have a cabinet underneath that opens with two doors, plus it has your on-off valves for your PEX fittings. To the right, you have a linen closet with four shelves. You have a foot flush porcelain toilet with a soft closed lid. This is a very good use of space, and it's big enough that you can actually utilize the bathroom. The important question is how do I fit? Um, no problem using the sink, it protrudes past the medicine cabinet. And as far as the toilet's position, you have plenty of room both not only in shoulders, but also in legs. So um, very functional, works really well size-wise. When you walk in the front door, directly to your left is what would be considered a living room seating area. Uh, first thing I notice is they've changed the wood a little bit. These are lighter tones with a more defined grain. I love the way it looks. You've got a 50 inch smart TV. They put a Jensen stereo system in here and you've got a 50 inch panoramic fireplace. This is an electric fireplace. You have two sofas here in the corner. This one in front of me to my left here is a direct on theater seating type sofa. This one in the nook is also a direct seating and it's a hide bed That works out really well. And if you swing to the other side, you have another hide bed and two seater sofa. So you've got six seating positions here as you walk into the kitchen. You have a dining room table that has room for four next to these gigantic windows. One of the things that Alliance does that we always love is how much windows they put inside their coach. You get a ton of natural light and they open by sliding so you can get a really good cross breeze. The awesome thing about this coach, it's a 382 RK, which means rear kitchen. Look at this kitchen, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. So you have your sink right here. So if you're doing dishes, whatever, you can still watch TV. Love the countertop, solid surface. This rear kitchen has a lot of cabinet space. It's amazing. You have storage for days in here. They have smoke glass in some of the cabinets, magnetic catcher, and it's soft closing. Have your max air fan up there. Insignia, full residential style oven four burners. On the back wall, you have a stainless steel nor cold fridge. This is a French door style up top and a pull out drawer for the freezer down below. This thing has a ton of storage. This is a very big fridge. This is probably the same size or bigger than most residential fridge. It has nice setup with drawers, slides, and it locks in place. So that's a really cool feature. You guys, this pantry is awesome. It's huge and it's lit. Let me show you. Okay, this is a nice improvement over what we have. Ours is not lit. And as far as size, my God. Here, let's give a comparison. Y'all, I'm 6'2", and I'm standing in the pantry, and the shelves are still behind me. Close the door. How about that, you guys? Isn't that amazing? Where'd Chris go? <laughs> Into the walk-in pantry. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that could be a timeout area. <laughs> Insignia residential microwave. 
It's huge. The drawers are amazing. They're reinforced drawers. They can hold up to 90 pounds. Let's see if we can get this on video. So the way they do that is down here. This is what Martha's talking about with the reinforced drawers. They actually put wood underneath so that the bottom of the drawers don't fall out. Cool little design, especially on a rear kitchen where things are going to inevitably bump around a little bit. They have contrasting colors in the kitchen. This back wall is a neat kind of a sporadic pattern and then you have your normal Asdell type pattern here. It gives a good contrast between the white cabinets and the brown wall. It gives it a good feel and it blends well with the solid surface countertop. One of the cool features about this coach, there's no vents in the floor. It's right here on the side. So you don't have to worry about stepping on them or catching a toe on it. Or crap. Getting, or crap. Getting That's crap in your catcher. vents. Like other paradigms, they use a flush floor design on their slides, so there's nothing to kick your toe on. The furniture is the Kensington collection, and so far, everything we see is really nice quality. Love the design elements in here. Yeah, with the floors, they don't use carpet in here, which is great for pet owners like us. They use the Coleman Mach-Q air conditioners. There's three of them in this coach. Two of them are direct dump in the living room. The third one in the bedroom is ducted into the bathroom. When you walk in the front door and you head right, you got three little steps and then you go up into the bedroom. Welcome to the bedroom. So they have a 32 inch TV across from the bed. They have six dresser drawer here and hidden storage. Next to the dresser, you're gonna have a bench here and this has a storage too. There's a nook up here and there's a 110 outlet plug there. Alongside the bed, you do have two residential plugs, two USB on each side. You have a nice little platform to put your wet morning coffee and your cell phone to charge at night. On the other side of the bed, same thing. You've got two USBs and two residential plugs. You've got a king size bed with a nice soft backer. Um, I'd call it a headboard, but it's really mounted to the wall, but it looks like a headboard. You got two pop lights directly above the bedroom ceiling is set up with the direct access to the wine guard gateway. They have the Air 360 Plus built into this coach. So if you decided you want to internet, all you'd have to do is put the other piece on here. You'll be able to utilize that. Now, the best part about this coach, in my opinion, other than the rear kitchen, this bathroom. So you got a huge sink that I think Chris could approve for brushing teeth. They got a little medicine cabinet right here in the middle, two shelves, got plenty of storage underneath the bathroom sink. It is huge and three drawers on each side. It's epoxy poured countertops. Above the windows, there is two pop lights. What's in the back wall? Oh, you got something there. Yeah, oh. but wait, there's more. <laughs> like an infomercial. <laughs> So, nice little linen closet right here. Very spacious. Yeah, it looks like three shelves. Is it a soft close? Let's check it out. Oh, it is. It is. Winner, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, now there's something in here that I am going to say that I'm not really thrilled about. One of the vents is directly behind the pooper. Now, it's a good place to keep junk out of it, I'll say that, but I just don't know whether or not I want a heater vent next to the bathroom, so if you're in here doing your paperwork, you might get a hot tush. Hey, but if you're in colder climates, that might be a godsend. <laughs> <laughs> Could be true. All right, let's, let's do my test. What do you think of the shower, Chris? Well... Well, being 6'2", I can literally extend my arms out the full width. I got plenty of room in my height. Um, I like the fact that the shower head is on an actual, up, it's on a slider, which is good because washing my hair is always a challenge being a tall dude. Cool little soap tray, normal uh, style holder in the corner like they had on the other Paradigms. Uh, same overall shower surround and it's got three glass doors. You got a teak seat. Uh, I love the one piece wrap around. This is really nice cosmetically. It looks real good. It's the same one we have. Yeah, overall, I think it's a very good design. This bathroom is massive. You have a ton of space. The sink is excellent. 
uh, you actually have probably double the amount of space on the counter than what we have in our 340. All right, we're gonna have you do the pooper test. The pooper test, oh, there's no problem here. I can sit back, kick my feet out. Well, here's the other kicker. So sit, sit back down. Uh-oh, boss done Raise told me, Raise your right hand and put it on the wall. There's the fan. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need a good fan. And they do use the Max Air fan. All right, so let's talk in here. Everyone always wants to see the closet. We're gonna show you. Uh, first of all, I love how they have the mirrors here so you can check out your outfit before you leave the house. That matters. Check oh my out. God. There's a little locking mechanism here. That is wild. Okay, let me get out of the way. This so, is a legitimate walk-in closet. Yeah. When you walk in to the left, it's washer dryer prepped. If you don't want to use a washer and dryer, you have a lot of storage and some shelves. They have a huge, massive closet in here, you guys. It is amazing. This Shoe is, storage, it, shelves for days. Guys, I, I hope this shows on the camera but this thing is ridiculous so that's a big clothes hamper yeah and it looks reinforced as well too it's really really nice you guys okay here record me record me so they could try to see the scope of this okay okay so i'm standing physically in the closet when i put my arm straight forward this is where the door is at so that's a solid probably three feet in front of me from where i'm at the width end to end of course is the normal uh, 101 inch wide body trailer Everything's finished in here, but I'm standing in the closet. There's head space, there's shoulder space. This thing is by far the biggest front closet that I have ever seen in any tour that we've done. It's a great use of space for the nose of the cab. I like the fact that they've got a reinforced bar in here. So when you're putting your clothes in, it won't make it sag because this thing is heavy duty. When you walk in the closet, the light switch is right by the washer and dryer. Another cool feature we found because this coach is tricked out. It has accent lighting behind here. The little switch is right there. Do that again. Okay. Turn it on. Woo! So it looks like it is, yes, it is LED backlit and it has accent like the other Paradigms. What do you guys think? I think this coach is amazing. The kitchen is spacious. It is glorious. Yeah, the whole coach is just incredible. The floor plan is awesome. If you like to cook and you want a nice spa type bathroom, this is it. I'm in love with this floor plan. Um, the cool part is it sleeps too. And I'll tell you, this is a full timer's dream. This is like a, a true residence. Yeah, you like to cook and entertain. This is a coach for you guys. Absolutely. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you think about this coach down below in the comments. Other than that, we'll see you next time, and enjoy every moment.